software on HTC Evo 4G. Uh, it has Android 2.2, uh, not the latest version of HTC Sense though, which is a bit disappointing. Um, and then your standard crop of uh, Sprint apps added on top of that. You can see Sprint Zone, Telenav, Sprint Football, NASCAR, Sprint TV, um, all that other stuff. And uh, not uh, Sprint is actually one of the better carriers in terms of bloatware. They actually don't add much bloatware at all. Um, and once you root the, the device, of course, you're going to be able to get rid of that. Uh, it does have a Kindle app also. One thing I was uh, actually disappointed that they didn't include was uh, Swipe, and they included that in the HTC Evo 4G um, in an update, in a software update, and they didn't, didn't include it here. I'm not sure why, um, but I, I really missed that. Uh, you can always go ahead and download it, though, if you are in the beta, but um, if you're not in the beta, you're kind of out of luck, so uh, that's an unfortunate unfortunate uh, oversight I guess I'm not sure why they didn't include that um, but other than that this is the same HTC sense that we've been used to since the hero and uh, just kinda disappointed they didn't add the latest version the latest version has a lot of cool things added and uh, a lot of changes that I really liked but they did bring in one change uh, from the from that version of sense that I want to show you guys and that's the text editing um, if I go into messages create a new message and uh, let's just type some garbage there or let's type it here um, so you guys can see that yeah um, so add that to the dictionary because that's obviously a word and uh, when you just press and hold on it you can kind of just you know move your finger and select text out or not select text but you can uh, position a cursor wherever you want and uh, it, it, it just helps that much more with the uh, uh, with the precision, and that's what the that D-pad on the keyboard was supposed to be for, I, I suppose. But um, that doesn't work too well. I didn't like that too all too well. If I can just, well, I'll just show you guys. Um, if you try to, if you try to uh, press it, it's kind of hard to press, and it's just uncomfortable. Um, actually, and then I actually meant to press left, and it pressed. Uh, it went up, so it kind of left the text area, the text field. So. Um, kind of a pain actually to use. I'm not really a huge fan of that, um, but that's why I prefer to use the software to edit text. And then if you double tap, um, you can get that uh, kind of text selection selection thing right there. Um, if you want to select text, and then you can copy and cut it using those buttons right there. Um, that was one thing I didn't I actually didn't like that much though. Uh, I'm used to copying. I I often copy text from different fields into uh, other other you know other fields and. To do it here, um, usually you would just have to hold it, and then you know, context menu comes up asking if you want to select all, or copy it, or cut it all, or whatever. Here you have to hold it, let it go, and then select all, or select text, yeah, select all, and then copy or cut. And that's, I mean, it's only a few more you know buttons you have to press, but uh, that was just a bit annoying. But I, I prefer having the ability to do this uh, than you know, <laughs> uh, not being able to just do you know copy it all at one two clicks. So um, that's just a, a nitpick, um, and something you're gonna have to get used to if you're used to uh, the, the standard way of text editing but it's actually pretty nice other than that um, this is your standard HTC sense uh, nothing has really changed about it not sure if they're ever gonna add the or bring over the new version of sense in the software update um, they haven't said anything about that and HTC said that some phones might get it uh, that they that have already already been released in 2010 but uh, <laughs> most of the phones out there haven't even uh, haven't gotten it yet so not sure how uh, what their plans are on that um, other than that software is pretty standard HTC since we've been through it a ton of a ton before so I'm not gonna go deep with it uh, there's your standard music player. This actually the, the SD card does can pre-installed with uh, five songs. I'm not a huge fan of the artists on that SD card, so um, <laughs> uh, just something you have to delete if you don't like it. And that's pretty much it. Um, stuff is this stuff is standard. Um, you don't get the scenes like you do in a new version of Sense. You don't get HTCSense.com connectivity. Um, it's just your standard HTC Sense. It's the same on the, as on the Evo, except for the text editing features and the lack of swipe. Um, so, uh, that's it. This is the HTC Evo Shift 4G from Sprint. Uh, $149.99 after a two-year contract. And this video looks a little distorted in color.
my hands actually look orange. See you guys.